In this video, we're going to take a look at another Pixel Creator Pro case study. And in this case, we're going to show you how to recreate this collage layout. Now, the inspiration for this collage layout came from a member of the Pro Forum. If you've never checked out the Pro Forum, there's a great community of photographers there, primarily uh, portrait and uh, high school senior photographers, but also a good group of wedding photographers as well. Um, and this is one of the templates that was shared on the forum at one time or another. And I just thought it was a really nice looking layout. And we can utilize the tools here in Pixel Creator Pro to create such a layout very, very quickly and easily. Even easier because we have a layout that we're basically looking to duplicate. Um, and I just want to show you how to take advantage of the tools in Pixel Creator Pro uh, that will enable you to do that. So the first thing that we need to do is right click on this collage and choose image size and um, change the overall size. So we're going to go ahead and do um, 300 resolution first of all and then the width is going to be uh, 20 uh, and the height uh, is going to be 10 so a 10 by 20 at 300 uh, pixels per inch and we'll go ahead and scale it and we'll zoom out a little bit and then what we need to do is determine how wide is this black area going around and to do that we're simply going to make a selection here in Photoshop of the approximate width I'm going to pull over my info pa panel so you can see this. It was on my second screen and you can see the width of this selection is basically one inch. So what we're going to do here is deselect and then we're going to use the guide tool here in Pixel Creator Pro to create a margin guideline of one inch. And you can see we have guidelines exactly one inch around the perimeter of our document. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a selection using those guidelines I'm going to pick some kind of random color it doesn't matter what kind of color it is and I'm gonna go ahead and choose add aperture and that's gonna add a new image opening to this layout and then what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, maybe lower the fill opacity first of all so we can kinda of see through it a little bit and then I'm going to apply a stroke so I'm gonna hit layer styles we're going to do a five pixel key line white stroke and actually I'm probably going to boost up this stroke size a little bit maybe by 10 pixels okay so far so good and now we need to go ahead and cut all these individual openings into pieces so I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool here and switch to the fixed size option and for my width I'm going to type in 0.25 and then for my height, I'm going to do 60 inches. Um, and then I'm just going to come in here and click. And I can zoom in here a little bit if I want to. And as I hover over this, this is just a little tip for you. As I hover over it, because I'm still in my marquee selection tool, I can actually use my arrow keys to fine tune that exact position if I'm trying to duplicate something like I'm trying to do here. And I'm going to hit my delete key. And then I'm just going to move with my arrow keys. I'm just going to slide it over. You can use shift arrow to slide it over faster. Or, of course, we could hover over it with our mouse and slide it over manually till we get it close. And then use our arrow keys to finish it off. And then hit the delete key again. And just keep doing that all the way across until you have all the vertical spacings cut. So we're going to do that all the way across to all the vertical spacings are cut. And that was our last one. And go ahead and deselect so we can see what we have now. Now if I increase the fill opacity, you can see this a little bit more clearly, you can see what we've done there. Now we've actually cut part of uh, these image openings that we actually didn't want to, but that's okay for now. Now we're going to flip-flop these two dimensions so that when I make a selection, it does it horizontally. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to come in here and pick up the selection and move it over so it's right there and hit the delete key. And that takes care of that. And then we're going to pick it up and move it over to the right, the same process. And make a little cut right here. And then we've got a couple more that we need to make. We need to make this one. So we'll go ahead and make that one quick. 
and then hit the delete key and then we have one more down here so I'm just going to click and then hit the delete key and deselect now it doesn't look like a whole lot right at the moment but we're gonna fix it so we're gonna come into our magic wand tool and all we need to do is just kinda of close up the gap where we don't need a gap so for example this area here I'm just gonna free transform hit control T or command T on a Mac and fill the gap see how I just filled the gap there and I'm gonna fill the gap here and then here I need to pull this down to fill the gap there and do the same thing here pull that down to fill the gap and then just pull it across as well to fill the gap this one up here control T fill in the gap and one more control T and fill in the gap and then here I'm actually gonna delete this area and this area and this area and this area and just pull this back so we just pull that back like so and same thing over here we'll pull this back make it room for that text that we need now if I turn on the fill opacity back to 100% now you can see how easy that was to create very cool stuff right now there is a problem however and that problem of course is the fact that uh, right now every single one of these image openings is on one single layer which obviously we wouldn't typically want so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little magic button next to add aperture which is our break apart function so let's click on that and Pixel Creator Pro goes to work for us automatically analyzing our layout and it's just gonna take every single one of those rectangular areas and put it on its own separate layer so that's pretty handy now in this process it's creating all these individual rectangular areas on their own separate layer but notice if you look here in the layers palette each one of these new rectangular areas has a vector layer mask now you might say well what's the significance of that well I'm gonna show you um, where that comes in pretty handy I'm actually gonna set the background color to black here just so we can see this so the first thing I might do is I might go ahead and save this layout before you go any farther and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just kind of randomly we're gonna take two image openings here and click merge apertures and what that does is gonna combine those two image openings into one new layer and you can see that represented as part of our vector layer mask and all I'm gonna do is click on my vector layer mask and choose edit define custom shape and hit OK and then I'm gonna keep going here so I might take these two and let's merge those two and we combine those two together click on my vector layer mask edit define custom shape and then I might take these two and click merge and of course do the same thing edit define custom shape and then I might just go ahead and take all four of these and click merge and you can see pixel creator pro merged all those into one choose edit define custom shape and then we'll do one more configuration just because we're doing it we'll select those four combine those into one and again we'll click on the vector layer mask and choose edit define custom shape and you say you may wonder well why did we do all that well because once we've created a collage layout like this we can actually use bits and pieces of it for layouts that we may do in the future so we've created one collage now we're gonna take all those custom shapes that we defined using the custom shape tool here in Photoshop click on the options bar up here and look at all these image opening configurations that we created so for example I could simply change my foreground color to something I could draw these shapes out something like so
So maybe do something like that. And then maybe I want to create two image openings over on this side. I'm going to select my background layer. Actually, I'm going to select this layer here. I'm going to make a selection. We'll do a normal st style selection this time. And I'm going to set my foreground color to white and choose color bar. I'm going to lower the fill opacity. And then I'm going to select these two image openings on the left and choose that break apart feature like we used previously in the collage sample. And all that does is take each one of those boxes and put it on its own individual layer. And then they do the exact same thing here, break apart. It's going to take those two boxes and put that on its own individual layer. And then once again, I'm going to take these two boxes and I'm just going to reposition it below my color bar layer. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a layout. So we're going to use this image. I'll tell you what, let's use this image right here. We'll go ahead and drop that in to that image opening. And then we'll come in here. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and use this one. And then this one over here, maybe we'll use this layout. That image opening. And then for this square here, we're actually just going to add a texture to that. So let's pick a nice texture here. Now what we're going to do here, just to kind of liven this up a little bit, let's add a hue and saturation adjustment layer here inside Photoshop. Boost my saturation, lower my lightness down, and then of course you could change the hue to be whatever we wanted it to be. I think that looks pretty good. And then we need to maybe liven this up a little bit because it's really dark. So maybe what we'll do here is we'll take these two images and we'll choose a color bar option and we'll go we'll offset three-eighths of an inch sounds good well, and what that will do is create a new layer below those three images and then I'm gonna go ahead and drop in that same texture that we used into the color bar layer just like so and then we'll just take this hue and saturation layer, duplicate it, and apply it to, I just created a little clipping mask to the texture. And then what we'll do here on our texture layer is, I think we'll just go ahead and add a stroke. We'll do a white stroke to the inside. We'll do about eight pixels. And then we'll also add some strokes to the images because I think that will uh, kind of bring it all together a little bit. Again, to the inside, we'll do five pixels on the images. And then I'm going to right click on that, choose copy layer style and click on this image. Right click and choose paste layer style. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll right click uh, and choose paste layer style. And then here, same thing, right click paste layer style. I think that'll look good. There we go. Let's see here. A 
So now you can see how you can kind of mix and match the different pieces and create a totally uh, new layout just by taking advantage of some of the existing pieces that you create along the way. Thanks for watching.